I'm Colin the Ed, and welcome to Colin's Culverts. Hello and welcome to Colin's Culverts with me, Colin the Ed. And in this particular show, what we're going to be taking a look at is culverts. So what is a culvert? A culvert is basically a water course and it's when there is a path or a road or it has to go underground for some reason. And they come in many, many forms. They come in different, different shapes and sizes, heights, widths and lengths. You know, people just walk past them every day and just think, oh, look, there's a pipe there, but there's more going off inside that culvert than what you actually realise. And in this particular show, what we're going to do, we're going to take you through a journey um, a different culverts in and around the Yorkshire area. So, what we've done today is we've come to the village of Ackworth here in Pontefract and we've come to have a look at some of Ackworth's culverts. We're going to see what Ackworth's got to offer the culvert spotting fan. So, we're just up on Frickley, uh, not Frickley, Fitzwilliam Country Park here, just on the outskirts of Ackworth, and we've come to this here particular culvert. Now, as you can see, it's a bit, it's what, it's probably the most basic culvert you could actually ever find. You know, it's basically, it's just a pipe, right? But without this pipe and this particular bit of path that goes over it, you get wet feet. So it's performing a vital, vital job. It's keeping your feet dry. And it's no fancy, really. I mean, it's just a bit of corrugated plastic pipe. But it, is, it does actually qualify as a culvert. So this is the actual... This is the gubbins of it, right? It's a corrugated plastic pipe, right? Which has been covered over with pit spoil. And it forms a culvert. Um, we've had a lot of rain in Yorkshire just lately, so all culverts are full. And the thing about culverts is, there's like culverts that just appear from nowhere. This area used to be heavily mined, and you find a lot of these type of culverts in this particular area. There's a lot of country parks that are ex-mining areas that have these sort of culverts installed in them. And this is a man-made stream, obviously. You can see it's a man-made stream. It's been carved out, and it's basically, it's a man-made watercourse. Hence why there's a man-made culvert. Path's been eroded away and the pipe's been exposed. So this particular stream doesn't look very full today, but it, obviously it must get really high. As you can see, this stream must really flow. It's a basic culvert. I mean, there's not much to say about it really, other than it's a piece of plastic corrugated pipe just here in Ackworth. They've got to withstand the river in flood. But now this has not particularly withstood the, the river in flood, but they have got to take the water away as fast as they can and the path has still got to form its function as you can see with dog walking over the top at culvert. So the whole purpose of this particular stream is for drainage. This particular area is ex-mining land like I've already said and obviously the, the heap or the spoil heap, which what it was once a spoil heap, has to drain. So these streams have been installed to keep this hill drained. That's basically this hill's draining system. So, as you can see, the stream comes down this way and it goes in that direction. It's been cut out by a, by a well, obviously it's a man-made straight stream. All streams are in this particular area, except for rivers. But obviously, in this direction down here, if you can see where the stream actually goes, there's actually an even better culvert that we're going to have a look at. So, we're just going to follow this stream in this direction over here and we're just going to have a look at the next culvert on the stream. So as water comes cascading off of Fitzwilliam Country Park, it has to go through a series of culverts, right, to actually make its way down to the River Went. Because all this water is going to the River Went, because we're in Upper Went Catchment here. This is what's known as the Upper Went Catchment. So this actually forms part of the River Went that we're actually studying. So this is the next culvert show. This is culvert number two, right? So culvert number two, you can see it's a brick, it's a brick culvert, so there's a little bit more substance about this particular culvert. And it's got, you know, it's got it's actually quite decored in the in a nice fashion. Uh, it's concrete lined, so there's a little bit more substance about this particular culvert, as you can see, it's a brick face culvert and it's got some nice headers there and it's obviously got a concrete pipe and obviously water goes down to the other side. 
So as you can see, it's the actual infrastructure on the stream is actually getting more substantial the more we are down it. We started off at the top of the hill and we were presented with just a plastic pipe. You know, not very interesting really. But as you can see as we've come further down the stream, we've got a more substantial culvert. The stream's job is to collect all the water off the ground and to make it and, and to carry the water away. So there'll be more water in the stream at this point when it's in flood. So the culvert's got to withstand the flow of the water. You couldn't just pour a little plastic pipe culvert here because it'd just get washed away. It'd just disappear. So what they've done here is they've installed a better culvert as you can see that's been made out of brick. So this is this particular culvert. What we're going to do now is we're going to have a look on the other side at culvert just to have a look at art flow at culvert and see if we can get a view up the culvert just for you, just so you can see what this culvert's all about on Colin the Ed's culverts. Well, I like this particular culvert. I've got quite a, you know, it's, it's growing on me because it's made out of brick and it's a substantial culvert. Um, so we're just at art flow, as you can see. And it's really fast flowing. You know, the water, is, we're in a concrete channel as well, as you can see. The concrete line with flags. Um, it's caused, it's created a quick channel for water to escape. So as you can see, it's doing its job. This particular stream heads obviously in that direction. And it goes into a big massive holding pond as you can see behind us. So obviously once it's come from culvert and there's a series of these ponds. You find these ponds in this area and they're called holding ponds. And quite possibly what silly what silt ponds back in the day when pits were here. Uh, and that's basically what it is, it's an holding pond. And basically what they do is they're a collector of all water in area. And all water will come to what's called a, a an holding pond. And basically it's to slow down the flow of the water. So you'll find all these culverts off of Fitzwilliam Country Park will come to an holding pond. And then what it'll do, it'll slow, it'll gather the water, and then it'll slowly release it into it on into its next channel, which will probably eventually take it into River Went. So we're just the other side of Holding Pond, as, as we were on about earlier. This is the other side to cover that we just featured in show earlier, and that's the other side of Holding Pond over there. So this basically takes all water in the area and it holds it in this particular area. It basically slows water down, it's called an holding pond. You find them in these sort of arrangements uh, where you've got a lot of streams all in one little particular area you'll end up with a big holding pond where they all get held and it basically slows down, it regulates the flow of the water into the river. Because all this water will eventually end up in River Wen. Isn't it mad just to think that? All this water will end up in River Wen, then it'll end up in Don, then it'll end up in Umber, and then it'll go out to sea. You know what I mean? It's mad, isn't it? So, what we're going to do now, we're going to go find his next culvert on show. We're going to go find his next culvert on show. We're going to have a look at his next culvert. I'm Colin the Ed, and this is Colin's Culverts. So here we are at culvert number three, right? So we're at culvert number three, and this is like, basically, this is where all water off of Fitzwilliam Country Park, and it's all come from Ackworth, and it's all cascaded down this hill and it's all been channeled into this one particular stream. And as you can see, it's really flowing. You know, there's a lot more water in this particular stream than other two streams that we've actually featured on the show. So, all water comes down out of Fitzwilliam Country Park catchment area, that's what I'll call it. So basically all streams all flow into one. And this is the lowest point. And as you can see, it's really flowing and we've got another substantial brick culvert behind us. So, obviously, this has got to take even more water. So there's even more water coming at this, at this particular culvert. So you can imagine engineering and how it's going to be built is going to be built to a lot higher standard. So as you can see, look, it is, it is. We've got two courses of brick, we've got proper brick walls. You can't even see. Hang on, we can move some of these brambles out of the way. Getting my way into culvert now, just to have a good look to make sure it's in good fell. You know, I'm doing water with Canal and River Trust job here, eh? So, 
as you can see, mate, it's a substantial culvert and you can hear me echoing, I've got a reverb. Hello? Right? So it is a, it's built to a lot higher quality. And you can see it's taking more water and it's doing its job a treat. You know, it's carrying water away from Fitzwilliam Country Park and it's stopping it from flooding. If this culvert one here, right? Fitzwilliam Country Park would be a lot muddier than what it is today. And all right, mate, how are you doing? Yeah, I do. yeah I'm not bad. Yeah, so as you can see, it's doing its job. It's doing what it's supposed to do. They see a little culvert here in Fitzwilliam Country Park. I need a stick. There we go. There's a welly here. Somebody's welly. What else is there? Yeah, look at all the plastic pollution here in river. It's so well in Arndt Street. In fact, no. Oh, shit, it's gone. Look at all the plastic here. It's disgusting. Look at that bag. That bag's just gone as well. We were just over the side of this culvert. It's a 30 foot long culvert. This is quite a substantial culvert, actually, and it goes underneath this lane here. And it comes out and you can see it makes an immediate right turn and it heads down in the rugby direction. Um, so, as you can see, it's, it's, it's in full flow of this river actually. It's quite a lot of water. So, that's culvert number three. So, let's move on to his next culvert on Colin the Ed's culvert. So, we've saved this culvert till last, right? This is the last culvert on today's show on Colin's culverts. And it's a convergence of culverts. There's actually four culverts that come together here to form one stream and what we're going to do, we're going to have a look at it. So, this is culvert here. And uh, as you can see we've got the main stream here. And uh, then we've got a little tributary here that's coming down and that's feeding into it. And then we've got one over there that comes down and then feeds into it here. And it all comes into this open culvert trough. That's what I'm going to call it, this trough. So we're just at the side of the Brackenhill Light Railway here in Aqua, right? So this used to be a railway line, this. So there will have been a substantial culvert built to support the railway line. So this is the first actual substantial culvert that we're featured on, on Colin the Ed's World of Culverts. And there's four that come in. You've got a culvert that comes in from that direction, uh, which isn't flowing right much, but it's dripping. Uh, obviously you've got overflow off at Brackenhill Light Railway that comes in and then you've got this here which is a substantial culvert and I can't see any light so I don't know where that comes from but obviously that feeds into it as well and then you've got another one so all water from this area is converging on this point here next to the Brack Brackenhill Light Railway so this culvert will have been put in with Brackenhill Light Railway and you can see it's got the it's got the build, it's got, it's using the similar sort of building techniques that they used in the back of the light railway, which were concrete. The concrete is original, and obviously the breeze block's been put in since, but that concrete is part of the back of the light railway, and this particular culvert. So that's just a little interesting fact. And obviously the water cascades down in this direction. So there's another sort of culvert that converges here, it, there's micro culverts here. These are micro culverts. Little pipes. I mean, they're not flowing, but the, at one time the other form drainage into river. And as you can see, it's that corrugated pipe again that we featured earlier on in the show. That roof lifted these micro culverts up, but they are actually culverts. They do qualify as culverts. Can't get me sticking. But yeah, they're, they're micro culverts here at Aqua. And this is the, uh... see that water just start flowing then? Watch a big massive tidal wave come flying down that pipe now and just tap me out. <laughs> so we started this journey today on Colin the Ed's culverts. What we're featured in today's show is small culverts, uh, medium sized culverts, micro culverts and a culvert convergence point. So, so that's a little starter for 10, isn't it? That, that is where we're going to start. That's his base plate for this particular show. Uh, so in the next episode of Calling the Ed's Culverts, we're going to be fetching you some even bigger and better culverts. 
I'm Colin the Ad and this is Colin the Ad's Culverts.